Welcome students to a little tutorial, oh my eyes, a little tutorial on playing power chords. We're going to have a bit of a chat about what power chords are and how to find them on your guitar and um, have some fun playing rock and roll. So, moving my camera down, this is my left handed guitar. Remember it's like a mirror to you if you're a right handed player. Power chords are those rocky sounding chords. <laughs> Those sort of things. And the way to do them is very quite quite simple, very simple. The first power chord we'll talk about is on the sixth string. And you find with your first finger the fret that plays the note that is the name of the power chord that you want. So for example, if I said play a C power chord, I'd go E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. And that would be the anchor for my power chord. And that's what a power chord looks like. You can see down here the guitar. We're going to try A. So what I do is find A on the fifth fret of the sixth string, which is there. I put my first finger standing tall, pressing nice and firmly on this string. The next part is we skip the next fret. Third finger goes on the fret two in front of that one and down a string. So it goes on the 5th string, 7th fret for this particular power chord, and the pinky goes under that on the 4th string, and we end up with that sound. And we push the pick through 3 strings, and let it come to rest on the 3rd string there, so through the 6th, 5th, 4th, coming to rest on the 3rd string. Like a wicket keeper in cricket, backstop. And we try to get those three strings sounding like one string. So it requires a fair bit of power in your wrist. Get my wrist in the shot. See, I'm not, not doing this. I'm using my wrist to pivot. Another thing that you can do is put the heel of your palm just on the saddle, where the string goes over the saddle there. And you can rest it on there and you get that muted, muffy, rocky sound. You can hear as I make it more muted, you hear the string sound closed off. If you go too far, it'll sound like this. Which is not a nice sound. You still want to hear the note. If you put your fingers too far back in this fret space, it sounds like this. If you put them just behind the metal fret, nice and firm, then you can get an effect where when you're muting, if you lift your hand off, it speaks. What I'm doing there, if you look at my hand, lifting my hand forward off the guitar. Getting that kind of stopped sound, an open sound that makes it like, like a barking dog, which is cool. Now that is an A power chord found on the 5th fret 6th string. Now that shape is the shape of all power chords. And if you move it up and down the neck, you've got to keep that space in the middle there. On the fifth string, we have a power chord with the same shape, exactly the same shape. We play from the fifth string, fourth string, third string, and the pick should come to rest on the second without playing it. Apart from that, it's exactly the same deal. The name of the chord is the note you find with your first finger on the fifth string. So this one I'm playing is called D. D power chord. A, B, C, C sharp, D the same shape. So with power chords you can do this. A, D, G, C, A, D, D, C. And you can do 
that rock and roll riff that everyone knows. Which might be a ways down the track for you. Um, requires a fair bit of strength in your fingers and stretch. But you're on well on your way if you can do this. That should be fun. To practice getting strength in your hand or to exercise your hand so that you can facilitate that hand position, I suggest doing this with me a bit this week. If you want to practice this with me this week, do a bit of this every day with me on the video. What we'll do is we'll practice grabbing the chord, A power chord, and then with this hand, just releasing the pressure but not taking our hands off the strings. So not taking a hand away, just putting our thumb nicely behind so we can get a good amount of pressure, not just behind there, but over the back. Squeeze, release. So my fingers are still touching the strings, but they haven't removed themselves from the strings completely. And if you pluck the string and then release them, it mutes them, it stops them. And just by simply grabbing the chord and letting go, grabbing, letting go, you're actually doing push-ups with your hands and giving yourself a chance to build up strength in your, in your entire hand and your forearm down here where you need the strength to be able to squeeze the strings. So if you did this with me, one, two, three, four, A, release, grab, release, grab, release, pluck, release, grab, release, grab, release, grab, release. good and then we might change chord we might do D power chord so we same in the same place down a string or up a string talking about pitch we go into higher strings but physically down the guitar always confuses people same deal together one two grab and release Plunk, release Plunk, release starts to feel a little tired and then take a break, shake it around like jelly and then have another go. Be careful not to give yourself a cramp, keep your elbow away from your ribs, don't tuck it in like this. A good tight seating position is required, guitar nicely firm against your ribs, not laying down like this, that's bad. Sitting up tall, being quite professional. And stop. You might like to try this chord progression with me next. We're going to go A, 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 G, down two frets. A, 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 C. All on one string. One, two, three, A. G. A. C, 8th fret, A, 3rd fret, G, A, power chord, 5th fret, C, 8th fret, have a go at that. If you master that, you might like to try something a little harder. We might skip to the next string, we might go A, D, G, 2, 3, 4, A. D G A A D G A All the while grabbing and releasing with me A D
Thank you and work hard at that in your master power chords.